Jefferson. I'm five months pregnant with my second baby girl, and I'm a urologist. Being pregnant has made me a much more compassionate and understanding urologist because of the urology changes that happen with pregnancy. I want to talk briefly about what's normal and what you can expect with urology in your bladder in regards to pelvic health and pregnancy. Pregnancy adds a lot of stress on the pelvic floor, the bowl and the muscles that support our internal pelvic organs, and the ligaments that help support those organs. One of the most common and frequent signs of early pregnancy is needing to urinate a lot. Part of that's hormonal changes, and then as the baby grows, the uterus presses on the bladder, leaving the bladder with much less room to store urine. This is usually temporary, and as the uterus moves up and out of the pelvis, up into the higher abdomen, most women will say that their urinary frequency backs off. One of the most common things that happens after pregnancy, whether you're four months or 40 years from having your baby, is urinary incontinence. And the reasons for that is because our ligaments stretch and our urethra is no longer supported above our pubic bone. Our pubic bone acts as the backstop for our urethra. And during the changes of pregnancy and delivery, our urethra actually goes lower than the pubic bone and now is more free to move. And that is how stress incontinence can happen. So now instead of hitting the pubic bone to help prevent leakage, our urethra is much more mobile and urine leaks when we want to be active or exercise. Both pelvic floor physical therapy, biofeedback, and simple outpatient surgery procedures like the major urethral sling help stress urinary incontinence. There was a lot of back and forth and controversy in the past couple of years on what causes more urinary incontinence or risk to the pelvis, a vaginal delivery or C-section delivery. The data is not fully out and there will be more and more studies that come. But for the time being, we actually think the trauma of vaginal birth does leave a woman with an increased risk of urinary incontinence after the delivery of her baby. Other, other pelvic changes with pregnancy include mild prolapse and pain with intercourse. Pain with intercourse can happen in the year after pregnancy because of breastfeeding and the hormonal changes that breastfeeding has on the tissues in the pelvis. This usually goes away after you're done breastfeeding. In addition, the mild prolapse can happen immediately after childbirth because the, lig the ligaments have been stretched out because of the weight and the trauma of vaginal delivery. Once your OB has released you and, said, and has cleared you for exercise after having your baby, a well-trained pelvic floor physical therapist can help you to regain strength and good uh, tissue support after you've had your baby.